हेलो एवरी वन माइसेल प्रोफेसर गुजराती तुषार फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज येवला नव वील स्टडी मेटलैब सीमिलिंग इन मेकेट्रॉनिक्स सो मेटलैब इज सॉफ्टवेर विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन सीमिलिंग पार्ट सो दिस सीमिलिंग पार्ट कैन बी यूज टू डिस्क्राइब मेकेट्रॉनिक्स सिस्टिम्स सो दैट वील स्टडी सो वट इज सीमिलिंग सीमिलिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ कंटिन्युअस एंड डिस्क्रीट डायनामिक ब्लॉक्स सच एज इंटीग्रेशन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ट्रांसपोर्ट डिले एट्सेट्रा सो दिस टाइप ऑफ ब्लॉक्स डायनामिक ब्लॉक्स आर प्रेजेंट इन सीमिलिंग फ्यूचर ऑल्सो मैथमेटिक ब्लॉक्स सच एज सम प्रोडक्ट एड आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सो एंड ऑल्सो सोर्सेस आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सोर्सेस मीन्स वॉट इनपुट्स आर प्रेजेंट लाइक रैम्प इनपुट रैंडम जनरेटर स्टेप इनपुट एट्सेट्रा सो दीज आर ऑल प्रेजेंट इन सीमिलिंग सो देर आर सम यूजफुल फ्लॉक्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड कंट्रोल आर शोन वन इज इंटीग्रेटर सो इट इज शोन बाय वन अपॉन यस देन सेकेंड इज एड सो देर आर प्लस प्लस साइन इज शोन नेक्स्ट इज स्टेट स्पेस ओके सो एक्स प्लस बी यू सी एक्स प्लस डी यू लाइक दिस इनपुट आज गिवन गेन इज शोन बाय दिस सिम्बॉल ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज शोन बाय वन अपॉन यस प्लस वन प्रोडक्ट इज शोन बाय क्रॉस साइन ट्रांसपोर्ट डिले इट इज शोन बाय दिस सिम्बॉल ऑल्सो सम इज शोन बाय प्लस प्लस ओके These are some mathematics and control, input and output. Now input can be shown by this type of symbol: scope, x y graph, okay. Constant can be used, ramp input can be used, pulse generator can be used, clock is required, sine wave, step input. So these are all types of inputs, okay. So actually, this scope and x y graph are output signs, okay. In the scope we get output, and x y graph also plots x y. graph okay so example so how you do example open a new window and drag the following blocks into that file so actually there is one library is there in that library all the blocks are present so one by one we have to drag the blocks into our screen so here in the diagram two blocks are taken one is sine wave this is one block is taken and one is scope and they are connected by one arrow so input is here sine wave and output is scope okay so run the simulation and double click on the scope to see the results now we have to run the simulation and double click on the scope to see the results another example open a new window and drag the following blocks into that file okay so now what is done in this example step input is taken now okay and scope is output but in between them one transfer function is taken so what is transfer function it represents one system okay so transfer function is taken as 1 upon s square plus 2 s plus 4 and all these are connected with arrow okay so like this system is formed now again there is option is there run simulation so run the simulation and double click on the scope to see the results okay now another example is shown here open a new window and drag the following blocks into that file so what are the blocks taken over here here now this is the transfer function okay so here plant is assumed as transfer function 1 upon s square plus twice s plus 4 this plant is controlled by this controller pi controller it is shown by s plus 2 upon s now here gain is also taken 2.5 is gain okay and scope is here output okay so that from output one feedback is taken and it is taken over here okay so there are two inputs now one is step input and one is feedback signal input so they are added here in the summation box okay so summation box is taken over here so like this feedback system is prepared here closed loop feedback system so what you have to do here you have to again run the simulation and double click on the scope to see the results so you will get such a results or you will get graph as a output you will get some oscillations and you will get system stable for the step input okay scope gives you this output for the system shown in the figure now simple model build a simulating model that solves the differential equation x dot x dot means what dx upon dt is equal to 3 sin 2t now initial condition first sketch a simulation diagram of this mathematical model input is the forcing function that is 3 sin 2t 
output is the solution of the differential equation that is x of t okay so here one diagram is shown so input is 3 sin 2t for the block so this is the block input is 3 sin 2t and output is x of t x is output and we have to use here integrator 1 upon yes and x of 0 is equal to minus 1 so like this our diagram is there now build this model in simulink so if you build this so build a simulink model that solves the differential equation now double click on the sine wave block to set amplitude as a 3 and frequency as a 2 ok so you have to take input as sine wave ok you have to give amplitude and frequency so for giving this input you have to double click on that block so it will ask you such a option so amplitude you have to give as 3 and frequency as a 2 ok this produces the desired input of 3 sine twice t so like this input is prepared and it should look like this change the initial conditions in integrator to minus 1 so these are the conditions or this is the diagram you should get so this is the sine wave 3 sine 2t scope is the output and integrator is taken as 1 upon s so like this you should get output of this in given input ok so this this is the your final output or final graph you should get sine wave so thank you so much for watching this video in this video we understood how matlab simulink can be used in mechatronic